After about a month with my knitting machine, I finally got my river out and I have been practicing with it readily. I tried about two weeks ago, I felt overwhelmed, so I just put it back in the box. But this past week, I was able to get it out and have some fun. Before I did that though, I got into the punch cards and tried two stitches. I tried the slip stitch and the tuck stitch. And for some reason in my head, I thought with the punch cards, it wouldn't come out on the wrong side, but because of how the knitting machine is designed, then it obviously is gonna come out on the wrong side, which I made my swatches and I, I saw that there were pearls. And I thought, what am I doing wrong? I posted in a forum and someone said, you're not doing anything wrong, that's right. So just a little confusion from the carryover from hand knitting to machine knitting. I tried two cast on methods and the one I prefer can be found on the Knitting School's YouTube page. Amber from The Fuzz Knitting recommended that and it's a really good one. But she's been helping me so much, I'm really grateful. And so, like I said, if you wanna check that out, Helen Sharp, The Knitting School, you can see a way to cast on with the river. This week I also got into my nine heads drawing book and as you can see my drawings are trash which is the point there's a book i love it's called figure drawing for all it's worth by andrew loomis and he said that when he first started in art school he was told that he should try another profession but if you look at some of his professional work you see wow he really came a long way from that beginning stage and it's just all about practice and he encourages the reader that just like him you can learn to draw as well and that's what the nine heads person says so even though my drawings look like trash i'm just gonna keep practicing anyway and yeah just i look back at some of my sketches from several years ago and they look much better than this but if i don't draw for a long time i just have to basically start all over again with my skills so practice my drawing and I also painted my office. Uh, it was recommended to make a comfortable workspace for myself and slowly but surely I'm doing that and the room is not completely full which is why there is a sort of an echo in here but slowly I'll get that together. So this past week I got out the river, I learned about how to use the punch cards, I learned that even with the patterns, they're still technically going to be on the wrong side, but that's okay. You can't really tell if it's just the pattern anyway, or maybe if you like having some pearl stitches that's just part of the aesthetic. And then I practiced drawing and still working on getting my office together. So I think now going forward, this next week, I'll work a little bit more on shaping with the river. But now that I've gotten comfortable with the machine, I can hop back into my wardrobe project. There shouldn't be any more delay and I'm excited to begin on that hopefully in June. So thank you for stopping by and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.